Okay folks, I was recently asked there on the on my YouTube channel to tie a few sea trout flies so I'm going to tie, this is going to be the first one of two the fly that I'm going to tie is called the, the Mach Cert now you can tie the Mach Cert on single hooks uh, six or, or eight you can also tie it on a, a one inch or a two inch long um, Wellington shank um, I'm just going to tie it here on a size 8 Partridge Patriot double the thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni thread 80 and black so I'm just going to come in and get the thread start a few mil behind the eye of the hook run on a few turns and remove the waist tag now on the original pattern there was no silver tag of oval silver tinsel but I just like to put a tag on my flies just for a bit of security so you don't have to do this you just tie this in as a rib so I'm just going to offer the oval silver tinsel underneath the hook take another couple of turns to tighten up bring the oval silver tinsel underneath the hook and then I'm just going to work my thread down tying this in yeah, I'm just going to bring my thread down until I'm in line or just slightly past the, the point of the hook and then I'm just going to come around with four or five turns of the oval silver tinsel and on my last turn bring it up and in between the, the two hooks now I'm just going to keep this waist length underneath and then I'm going to fold that back from my rib just to help secure everything and just run it up and then we'll just come in and fold it back and work your thread back down now you want to try and keep your body as smooth as you can because the rear half of the body is going to be a silver tinsel now I just want to show you that that tag is well secured in so you can see where it's doubled back on itself so you know the habit of doing that it's a good habit to have in fly tan makes a fly nice and secure so the back of the fly is going to be a, a uni mailer in the size 12 in silver and gold so just take a length of that off now I want the silver side so I'm going to tie it in with the, the gold side facing up and just pull it into the the length of the first part of the body and then just work your thread up tying this in and then just come around with your tinsel get a nice straight turn at the back and then just work your tinsel up to meet your thread one turn to hold a couple of turns will secure that in and then just come in and trim away the waist axis now the next part of the body is just black seals fur you can use any black dubbing that you have I'm just going to use this as just natural black seals fur that I'm using some more orange on it there get that out of the way just take a pinch always remember just taking your dubbing the the one way now don't want to put it on too tight just want to get enough long just want to brush some of it out and just work this up the second part of the body anything that's going forward just come in and just gently stroke it back get a couple of turns in front now we can bring up our rib Looking four turns of the four or five turns of the oval silver tinsel up the body to there, going across with your thread, a couple of turns to secure, then come in and trim away the excess oval silver tinsel. Then you can come in with your Velcro on your lollipop stick, just brush some of this out. Just want to brush it out. Plenty of movement on the fly. Let's bring our thread into position for a haggle. Now the haggle that I'm using is just a, a natural black hand. You could use a genetic cock saddle haggle or just whatever you've got. Just a Chinese black hack, haggle. Black cock haggle would do as well. So just stroking that back to reveal the tip. Offer it up to the hook. One turn to hold another turn to secure 
Then if you come in and just fold back the tip, take your turns of thread back up over the tip of the hackle. And then you can come in, locate the tip, you can break it away. Just use your fingers here just to stroke the fibers of the hand hackle back. And then the turns are up to you. I'm just gonna, this is a small feather, so I'm gonna get two or three turns out of it, but I wanna use the whole the whole feather up. Plenty of movement under the fly. Then I'm gonna come around, one turn to hold, a couple of turns to secure, and then come in and just remove the, the stem. I'm uh, just going to come in with an old toothbrush and just brush out some of the fibres that I may have caught while I was just wrapping the hack all around. Now, just make sure everything's back. We'll get a wee bit of thread down here at the front. Firm materials. Now, the wing on the original pattern was just grey squirrel tail um, dyed black. What I'm going to use is this here. This is Fin Raccoon. It's a lovely soft mobile fibre. Uh, you don't need too much. Just enough. Uh, it's a small pinch there but I'm going to thin, the, thin this out. I'm going to take out some of the, the guard hairs. I don't like to see all the guard hairs in it. So just come in and we'll trim that away. Just remove, like, see that fluff that you're taking out of the, if you buy this stuff that you're putting out, don't throw that out, that's good dubbing, just leave that on your desk, get a bag, put it in the bag, so I'll just take out some of the, the guard hairs here, don't want to see them in it, and then you just offer this up to the hook, you can have the wing, long as short as you like, it's up to you, right, I'm just going to have mine a length and a bit of the hook over the back. Just going to come around with a pinching loop. Then nice tight turns. Right. Just want to see what way we're sitting here first before we continue. Okay, happy enough for that. Get that straight again for you. There we go. We'll just come in, trim away the axis. You want to get this lowered, just come in with your th thumb and just crease it. That'll lower the wing for you. The wing will lower itself once you fish it. The wing will get lower once it's had a wee swim. Now on top of that, you're looking at some peacock sword. Now you could take your time and sort of way get these married up and all that sort of good stuff. but. I'm just going to take them as they come to me here. So, just taking some of these off. And I'm just going to offer this up. Just to basically over the over the breadth of the wing. I want it slightly less than the, the her. So, a couple of turns to secure that in. Then we can come in and See what way we're, we're sitting. We'll come in and trim the axis. Now, the next part's optional. This is green crystal flash. You don't have to put this on the fly. This is just an optional, an optional extra. It's like buying a car, isn't it? So, just offer that up to the hook. Here with a pinch and loop. A couple of tight turns to secure. We'll come in. Just fold back the the longer pieces of the flash and bring the thread back up on top. Right, just come in and get your longer pieces. I'm just going to trim these much the same length as the wing. I'll just moisten them, leave them for my next fly. Okay, now we're not looking too bad. The last part of the fly is jungle cut. So if two, you'd say that size eyes here so I'm just going to get these leveled up the best I can in my hand and then we'll just offer them up to the hook I'm just going to come in 
folding down the sides. These are just loose turns that I'm taking here. Not securing anything in tightly yet. Just to get them sitting the way that I like. Let's bring this one up into the wing a wee bit. That one there is just a wee bit long, so I'm just going to pull it in. The length. So the way I'm sitting. Always make sure your jungle cock is sitting the way you like before you secure them in. Because once it's in, that's it. Now, have enough of that, so I'm going to tighten up a couple of turns. I'm going to fold the stems back on itself. Just fold them back and bring your thread turns up over the top. Nice and tight. And then just build up your just build up your head. You want a good head on the fly. Don't be shy with it. And keeping the thread tight. You can come in and break away the, the stems of the jungle cock or the break only. Just come in and trim them away. Right, just want to see him get the just want to get a nice shape under this head. Still a wee bit. It's not tapered enough for me, so just going to work away on this. Just getting a bit of a shape into it. I'm happy enough with that. So I'm just going to come in with my whip finishing tool now. And just throw in a whip finish the way back down towards the eye. Pull the thread tight, come in, trim away the excess. Now, just have a wee check. Yep, I'm not on too bad. Now, just to seal the head up, first coat, super glue. Just on the head. Don't want it anywhere else at this stage. On the, just on the head. And there you go, folks. So that's the, the Mac cert. Um, good fly to have in your box if you, if you fish for sea trout. Uh, tie a few up if you fish for the sea trout. It's nice and simple. It's an easy fly to tie. There's not much to it. If you don't have fin raccoon, just use grey squirrel tail, dyed black or black arctic runner, black fox, whatever you have. Um, don't worry on out the shops and, and buying stuff. Um, but look, give it a go and hopefully you can catch you a few fish. Thanks for watching.